you don't have an identity, you will move out of alignment. Eh? And the rebellious, they dwell in a dry land. You can be speaking in tongues and dry. When Jesus gave the first commandment, Jesus gave them in the book of Acts, when he was inducting them in the apostolic school, because he had to come for 40 days to give them capacity building so that everyone will know the scope of the enterprise that he was committing into their hands. And the Bible says, in those lectures, he gave command. Now, have you ever attended any lecture where the lecturer is giving you commandment? It's not the type of lectures that you attend in school. The first commandment that Jesus gave the apostolic people was remain in Jerusalem. There is a <laughs> in the doctrine of places we have the secret place. That is the place of your personal communion with God. It's a wonderful island. That's where you receive daily, daily nourishment in God's spiritual shepherding. We also have the appointed place, which is what Jesus was commanding the apostles to be aligned with. Are you with me? Now, you are not here. You can have a very wonderful secret place. Your communion with God is excellent. But Jesus said, tarry ye in what? That's an appointment. That one is chosen for you. You don't decide it. And for your information, it was a commandment. Just like thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Another commandment was tarry ye in Jerusalem. You don't have authority over that instruction. If you want it to be well with you, you have to align with that instruction. For any reason why you are not in Jerusalem when God occasions the visitation, that is the reason for which you will be left out of the move of God. So a lot of people believe that if they can have a wonderful secret place experience, that's all. You are wrong. You can be very anointed and confused. Oh, you have not seen such people? You have never seen? You have not seen an anointed and confused man? Okay. You have not. You have not traveled long. You've been, you've been in my college. You have not interfaced. An anointed. Okay. You, you, have not, you have not been conscious of it. When you leave this place, put on your goggles. New eyes and new lenses to identify anointed and confused people. You will find out that the anointing doesn't deliver you from confusion. A heavily anointed man. In fact, he came for a meeting. He had this grace to cry on cripples. And they were what? At the time he was 56 years, they asked him, what is the purpose of God for your life? He said, we are still uh, trying to find out. Until now, he's still trying to find out. Because he will start something today and then tomorrow he will say, Kai! There's a more pure expression of the mandate. <laughs> he was anointed and confused. He was anointed and he lacked direction. Everybody knew he was anointed. And he didn't have an immorality problem. But he was confused. He will be doing something and if the thing is not growing as fast as he expects, he will shut it down. Then bring a new, a new strategy. And he did that until he was 56 years old. And in a talk show, they asked him, what exactly is it? He said, we are looking, we are still uh, looking to God for. Now, like I said, your secret place can be buoyant. There is something called your appointed place. And your appointed place is a commandment. So if you become so wise as not to align with your appointed place, you will be in a dry land. You see, God, God your appointed place is the structure, the structural expression that God has built around your calling. 
if you are not in that structural expression you will decay in the wilderness the rebellious the bible says shall dwell where in a dry land so there are many people that are anointed but they are outside of the structural framework that is supposed to support their calling nothing good can come out of that arrangement I need to tell you something quickly. Pioneering is a burden. You want to pioneer a ministry? Especially a ministry that eventually becomes global. You have mortgaged your sleep. You have mortgaged your time with your family. If your wife is not called to be a woman of sacrifice, hey, I got Hey. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, we know what it takes for you to live healthy. Exercise is part of it. You will just discover that your schedule is so, so tight. You don't have time for sleep. You don't have time for rest. Doctors will be calling you to say, We saw you here. We saw you. Go and rest. But your lifestyle injures your health. And there's nothing you can do about it. They say, Okay, don't eat in the night. All day. So, how can we not eat in the night? They say if you eat in the night, your stomach will be big. There's nothing we can do about it. We know. But there's nothing. The Lord has not yet given us the wisdom of how to survive without food. Even Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. He said, it means you will live by bread, but not only it. Bread is a factor. It's Jesus that said that. He said, but, and if God has not called you into it, that's the sure way to partial paralysis. <laughs> All the demons in the territory, you are no longer in a framework that is a body of priests. You are protected in that kind of an arrangement. When there's a body of priests and you're operating as an evangelist, leave that system and operate as an evangelist solo. And then you will see a, a line of responsibility that you're not aware of. There is a huge deposit of the grace and the investment policies of God that hangs on a genuine pioneer. And if you don't have it, you have set yourself up. Jesus said, Harry! In Jerusalem. And he said that by commandment. That's an appointed place. We also have a secure place. Secure place. Those days we used to go for evangelism, preach to people, cast out devils, and then when we come back and we wake up after sleep, Three, the three other preachers that because four of us went they said demons attacked them in the night and I didn't know I was sleeping. so we wanted to find out okay, what are you doing that we are not doing you are not with me it's, you don't want to find this thing I want to teach you now you don't want to learn it so <laughs> I, this, oh my god hallelujah yeah. we go for ministration we come back demons one way was like, ah, from, from sleep. Kabire <laughs> Kebo. Hallelujah. Amen. And the only thing I did that they were not doing was that I had a father in the law that I got to report to. I said, Oga, we went here. We did this. We did that. I said, my son, you will not fall. You will not be conquered. And you will not die before your time. They didn't have anybody that does that to them. It was when we went to, and all of us are anointed. When we go to the field, we know they. they <laughs> there is a secure, you see. You need security. As you, as you are seated here now, you, need, you are in need of security. We got to be laboring for some things, hoping for breakthroughs in one or two areas. The breakthrough had come. He was supposed to travel to England a day before the trip. He was struck with COVID. One of the COVID cases that did not survive. It, he, 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 there's no insurance policy. There's no security. No security. It's a, very, it's a very difficult thing for a man to die. I need to assure you. Very difficult. If you follow the principles of the Lord, you will be covered. So there's a secure place and there is a marketplace. 